What is going on people? Today we are taking a break from your regularly scheduled Ranger videos to talk about a class we have seen zero gameplay on but actually know quite a bit about. <laughs> The Summoner is one of the eight archetypes that you will be able to play in Ashes of Creation, and this one will really bridge the gap between the Ashes of Creation class and some of the more pet-friendly classes that you have come to know in other MMORPGs. For example, if you wanted to combine the Summoner with a Ranger to get the Beastmaster class, you'd get probably more of a Hunter type class, where I'd assume your pet would probably take advantage of the battlefield and you'd use the pet to really keep the distance of your enemies. Unfortunately, there's not a lot out about these class combos yet, so we don't know exactly how they will work, but they're definitely gonna change up the Summoner in some very unique ways. You also have the Summoner Cleric combo, which will turn out to be a Necromancer, allowing you to raise the dead for your control. The summoner will not only bridge the gap between familiar MMORPG pet classes, but also within the raid party itself, as you will be able to help fill the heals, the tank, and the damage rolls with your summons based on the summon you choose to have out and the class combination you are a part of. Whereas you could imagine the summoner tank combo would probably have more tanky pets, whereas the summoner bard combo would have more support and then everything in between that. So you could really help support your raid. These guys won't be used to fill the role completely though. It's not going to replace the tank or replace the healer, but give extra support for the party or the raid with weaker creatures than your raid mates. The majority of summoner abilities will, will come from the summons, allowing you to bring up up to three creatures on the battlefield at once. And once a creature is summoned, the creature's abilities will appear on your hotbar, giving you control over it. So you could really mix and match your summons to give you a unique variety of abilities on the battlefield, really customizing your class even more. Each of these summon abilities will work as regular abilities where you will be able to spec points in them to increase the summon creature's power and make the ability stronger. Because these summon creatures are basically your abilities, that is how they're performing. You're not, it's not like you're going to cast a fireball at a creature. You're going to cast a summon to summon this undead goblin guy, and then you're going to use his abilities on your action bar. Not 100%, I'm sure the summoner will still have abilities, but for the majority of your abilities, they're going to be based off the creatures you summon, and it's going to be a huge part of the class. The summons that you bring on the battlefield will stay on the battlefield until they're either killed, you summon a different creature, or you log off from the game. Not only will they be able to heal tank and do damage, but your summons will also be able to crowd control as well. There are many different types of summons depending on the class and the augments that you choose, but you could summon things such as animals, spirits, skeleton zombies, and various other undead creatures, potentially corpses as well, among many other things. Some summoners may summon multiple things, whereas others may summon one one powerful thing. It really depends on the abilities and the archetypes. And then there are some that can really only summon effects or temporary energies. It really depends on the archetype and the augmentations that you choose for your class. My favorite part about the summoner is what are called siege summons, where you can use up to eight players of the same primary archetype, in this case the summoner, who can band together to create monumental effects during a siege. For example, these eight summoners could group together and summon this massive creature, such as a golem, that would help attack the castle you are attacking or defend it based on your position, really giving you an advantage on a battlefield. Hopefully though, this doesn't turn out where your siege is just filled with 500 summoners and you just keep summoning these massive golems though, making it very unbalanced. Or maybe, you know, 499 summoners and one healer. The way this works though is all these summoners must be in the same party and the party leader must also be a summoner. The party leader will then initiate the summon and take control of it. Once summoned, the party leader cannot be changed. If the party disbands, the summon ends, and there will be a grace period before you can summon another creature. The party may also contain non-summoners, but like I said, the party leader will need to be a summoner. There are classes out there as well who use the summoner as a secondary archetype who will be able to summon weapons to fight on the battlefield that are not equipped. For those of you who like a little bit of roleplay in your summons, well, you will be able to name your summon as well, and you'll also be able to change the appearances through cosmetics, in-game items, and the overall appearance will be based off your archetype and in-game choices. Summoners may or may not be able to alter the look of these summons in what is called a summon creation suite. This is a thing that Intrepid is still playing around with, but it'd be like this suite where you can customize the appearance potentially based off what you have found in the world and it's something that they're looking to take from the animal husbandry system as animal husbandry will have a very similar system to this where you can customize the looks of your animals so they could take this exact technology and apply it to summons as well 
The summoner is one of the three archetypes that we have not seen at all for Ashes of Creation. So hopefully, maybe in a caster combat reveal coming up in the future, this is something that Intrepid will give to us. What are your thoughts on the summoner class in Ashes of Creation? Is it something you'd be interested in playing or are you going to go another route? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to Ashes of Creation and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until Ashes of Creation finally launches. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.